Hello everybody and welcome to Kids Blast. I'm Shauna and I'm so glad you could join me today. We're up to the last part in the series called Jesus Cares and I'm going to be reading from the Big Picture Story Bible. One day Jesus walked along. He saw a man blind from birth, a man he could not see. Jesus' disciples asked him, Who had disobeyed God, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? They thought it was his fault. Jesus said, There's a different reason why this man was born blind. It's not because he'd done anything wrong at all. Jesus told them to watch and see the work God had sent Jesus to do. So the disciples watched as Jesus, I wonder what he's going to do, walked over to the blind man and spat on the ground. He made some mud with the spit and put it on the blind man's eyes. Then Jesus said, go wash in the, po go wash in the pool of Siloam which means sink. So the man went and the man washed. He did exactly what Jesus asked him to do. And do you know what happened? When the man opened his eyes again, he could see. By this miracle, God showed everyone that Jesus had been sent to do God's work. He had God's power. Now some of the leaders listened to the man's story, but they did not believe that Jesus had made him see. They said of Jesus, this man is not from God. They weren't very nice. But the man who had been blind knew better. He told them that Jesus must have come from God. But this made the leaders so angry that they threw the man out of the temple. Well, Jesus wasn't very happy when he heard what had happened to the man he'd healed. He really cared about this man. So Jesus went and found the man. And Jesus told him, that God had sent him into the world. Do you believe in the Son of God? Jesus asked. The man wanted to know, tell me, so I can believe. You are looking at him, Jesus answered. And the man said, Lord, I believe, I believe in you. And Jesus had come so that people could not just be um, Tell them that I believe in you. Okay. Just end with that. You've ended with it. Just wrap I up the story. I believe in now. you. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, we'll cut this bit out. Just okay. go to the, go to the, wrap it up now. Jesus, God's son, had healed that man twice. The man's eyes had been blind and then he could see but his heart had been blind too. And then he believed in Jesus. The man saw who Jesus really was and he believed he was the son of God who had come to rescue people from their sin. So that's the same for us too. Jesus cares about us and he wants us to know that he is God's son and that he came to rescue us and save us so we can be his friends too if we believe in him that he is God's son with God's power to heal our hearts so we can see who Jesus truly is. I've got some questions now for you to talk about with your families. Question one, how did Jesus heal the man who was blind? Question two, what did the leaders at the temple think about Jesus healing the man? Question 
free. When the man heard who Jesus was, what did he do? Out! Oh, why, is Sean, are you there? I am, Lucy. It's, I can't see you. I can hear you. It's very dark. I can't see anything. It's so dark. Yeah? Were you all right? Well, I bumped my head, but uh, yeah, so oh. not great, but it's okay. Well, I think we need some light. Yeah, um, maybe I'll go turn on the light switch. Good idea, Moosey. Ow! So I just keep bumping into things. Oh, no, it's so dark. Here, let me do it for you, Moosey. There. Oh, oh that's well, better. that's good. The lights are, I can see stuff now, Fiona, but where are you? I'm right over here, Moosey. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't know which way I was looking with the lights off. No, it was very confusing. I couldn't see anything in the dark. Oh, my. It's not good to be in the dark. No. You, well, very hazardous. As you, I can see you've got a few bumps. Hmm. Well, the antlers. But, uh, yes, my head's a bit sore, too. <laughs> it does look sore. Well, that's um, exactly what I'm just reading here in the Bible, mm, okay. Lucy. I'm just reading John chapter 8, verse 12, and it said, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The person who follows me will never live in darkness he will have the light that gives life. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Because in today's story, Jesus helped someone see. That's exactly right. Sounds like Jesus can help us all see. Yes. Well, we just saw how bad it is in the when it's dark and you can't see anything. Mm. Well, Jesus is saying that we live in a world where if we don't know him, it's like being in the darkness. But he's the light that can show us the way and show us the way to God. Exactly. Mm, exactly. I like that. Exactly, Moosey. Oh, that's so, fantastic. Yeah, that's what it's all about. We trust Jesus and then we have light in our lives. Mm. Yeah. Now, Shauna, I heard in the last school holidays there was a Hub Holiday Kids program. There was. And I didn't get to go. Oh. Well, actually, it was online, Moosey. Whoa, that's cool. Well, I didn't watch it. <laughs> well, well, would you like to see some of it now? What? We could join in with one of the songs from the Hub Holiday Program. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And actually, I was just thinking just before we do that, Moosey, mm -hmm. next week, we first finished our last week of um, Jesus Cares. Ooh. And next week, I was hoping that people at home that have been joining us for this would like to send in their photos and we might be able to show people photos um, of people that have been watching us and um, doing the crafts and joining in with Kids Blast. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's have a look at the photos of what everyone's been doing next week. Yeah, that'd be good because just like Hub, it's online and so we don't get to see people face to face. So it'd be great to see photos, but just send them in. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Um, okay, let's have this song now from okay, Hub. Okay, from Hub. Take it away.
Hello, today we learnt about how Jesus can help everyone to see the way to live. To remind us of that, we're going to make our own lantern. First thing you need is a sheet of coloured paper, although you can use white if you want. And the first thing you need to do is just put a ruler on the side of it like that. And just draw a line down there. Cut along that line. Save that, you're going to need it for later. Along the bottom, put the ruler like that and draw a line across it. And this time don't cut, but under that line you can write our Bible verse. Jesus said, I am the light of the world, John 8, 12. Okay, the next thing you're going to need to do is fold the piece of paper in half that way like that. And then... You're going to need to get your ruler and every two centimetres put a little mark on the page. Okay. You then go down the line and make a cut from the dot to your line. There you go. Last one, if it's a bit longer, that's okay. You then open it up and you twirl, turn it around and bring the two edges of the paper together. And you'll need a parent for this to come with a stapler and staple the top bit together like that. And the bottom bit together, like right there. Then get this little bit from before that we'd cut off and put it there on this side on the top there. Staple that in and twist it around. Put it on that side of the top there, like this. Staple it. And you have your lantern. And here we go, our lantern that will help remind us that Jesus is the light that can help us see the way to live our lives and know God. Well, we're nearly at the end of our time together today. Let us pray before we say goodbye. Let's close our eyes and say amen with me at the end. Dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to care for us and to help us. Help us, like the man who was born blind, to see your power and to trust in you. Amen. Well, glad you could join me. Have a lovely week, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.